What is selvage denim? You probably have a few pair of jeans in your closet, and you are used to thinking that you know everything about them. Well, pretty much everything you should know. And you don't care much about the occasional new trend in this area. Meanwhile, to know about such trends as selvage denim is useful not only for general development, but also to choose proper additions to your style. If after having watched the video you want to buy new jeans, follow the links we've left in the description. Selvage denim is not a trick of stylists or marketers. In fact, it's a restored denim classic, complemented and improved without compromising authenticity. The most noticeable and obvious distinction of the strength models is the thin colored identifier that secures the edge along the inner side seam. It can be seen on the inside only, but it can tell a lot to an expert. History On modern jeans or any pants, the fabric on all seams is cut off and hemmed with overlock or something like that. You know, so it doesn't unravel or get loose. So, the first mass-produced jeans back at the end of the 19th century didn't have that. The side seam had an edge that wasn't specially processed after cutting, it was ready right off the machine. This was like that because the fabric was made on narrow looms and no more than two halves of the pant leg could fit across the width of the fabric. It turned out to be very convenient for serving pants. The outer, that is the side seam, was wrapped with the cuts inside and the inseam had ready weaving selvages, which didn't need processing and they didn't graze the body. The width of the cloth made it possible to cut both small and large sizes, and if there was a strip of cloth left in the middle, it was used for small details, like a belt or patch pockets. This colored selvage, which doesn't need to be processed, is the obvious feature of the selvage denim trend. So, it's clear where the trend has got its name from. The selvage was different for different manufacturers, and they quickly realized that the color of the thread along the edge could become something like the additional trademark. Lee used blue or green thread, Levi's used a red thread, and Wrangler probably used bright yellow thread to make their products stand out. Later, Progress gave the clothing industry white machines, with the same white fabric as the output. The legs of jeans were cut on all sides without any selvages and the inseams were hemmed with overlocks, and we accepted this as a norm. By the way, jeans have become much cheaper because the narrow fabric is quite expensive to sew. Japanese jeans A century later, the Japanese, with their obsessive drive to create something flawless without dealing with troubles, decided to revive the truly original jeans. For this purpose, they tried to recreate the old technology almost entirely. To begin with, these cleany guys took the trouble to find old-style looms with a small width of cloth, just like back then, in the 19th century. Then they decided to follow the standard of density of the fabric that corresponded of the typical denim of the era. It was not less than 14.5 ounces per square yard. This was the density of the fabric used for manufacturing the work pants, made by the factories of Levi Strauss, Morris Cooper and C.C. Hudson, the founders of the three oldest denim brands. Just as serious was their approach to the material, literally beginning with the choice of raw materials and the way they were processed. The cleaning sounds of the land of the rising yen decided to recreate it completely. They didn't make the task easier for themselves by simply ordering denim of the right density and width with a hem. No, that was too frivolous for them. They didn't even limit themselves with special weaving with vintage narrow looms. They bought long fiber cotton for the absolutely original all-style denim. Then used it to make a special yarn on the same vintage double wheel spinning machines. The yarn from these machines isn't as even in thickness as in the modern spinning industry, and you can see it in the woven fabric afterwards. This is what the first denim looked like, and this is what real branded selvage denim looks like now.
Of course, the old technique has now been replaced by a new one, but all the technological details are maintained, so both the yarn and the finished fabric are exactly as they were 150 years ago. The real jeans color The first factory-made jeans used the strongest plant-based dye at the time. It's called Indo. You probably know that it gives a deep blue color. This is the dye used for real salvage denim. There are no synthetic additives in the fiber itself or in the dye. Modern technologies of mass production of denim involve true treatment of the finished product. It's a treatment that fixes the color of brightens, chemicals and washing. Firstly, it gives a more solid coloring of the fabric. And secondly, it gives equally spaced scuffs of approximately the same intensity of the entire batch of products. And washing partially removes all these chemicals. It's unacceptable for salvage denim. It's made of indole diet, but not washed fabric. And the ready items aren't subjected to any treatment other than the necessary minimum. Such denim is called raw, unlike the washed and treated fabric we are used to. The jeans made this way go to the bio without any artificial scuffing, and certainly without any holes or fibers sticking out at the folds. But the fabric structure is visible to the naked eye and can even be felt with the fingers. Visible irregularities of threads and dyne are evenly distributed across the fabric surface and the scuffs appear in the process of wearing. Since each person has their own individual physical parameters, lifestyle and personal habits, then after a couple of months of wearing, the jeans get a unique look, fraying, stretching a little bit and becoming worn following its owner. Mass-produced jeans in modern techniques are much less capable of this. They either already have artificial highlights on them, or the fabric is dyed with common chemical dyes that cannot fade as naturally on scuffs as natural in dolls. What's more modern mass-produced jeans use fabrics with more or less synthetic material added? As you probably realize, all more or less stretchy fabrics necessarily contain all sorts of elastic fibers. And the jeans that fit so appetizingly around your girlfriend's hips have a lot of them in their composition. A lot of guys believe that if they buy jeans without the slightest sign of elasticity, then it's probably pure cotton. But it isn't necessarily right. Tight men's jeans are often sewn with viscose or cheap cotton with a lot of strengthening synthetics, as without this additive the material will quickly begin to wipe and tear. This is a characteristic disadvantage of cheap cotton with short fibers. Only long-fibered cotton is used for salvage denim, and it doesn't grow everywhere. Japanese manufacturers decided to use Zimbabwean cotton for their denim exclusives. It's so tough that the denim is very durable even without artificial reinforcements. Of course, assuming that the standard of density, which we've already mentioned before, is followed, the salvage denim manufacturers are very careful about it. It's one of their features. In general, these products are of a higher quality than the average items from the factories of Levi Strauss or Morris Cooper a century ago, because those hardly used the elite cotton. After all, it was about products that were affordable to any working man. Jeans, futures and details To make the vintage pants a bit more exquisite, salvage denim jeans began to be decorated with exotic reptile skin patches, and the fabric is woven with different types and shades of edges. With a very narrow color band or a little wider one, single colored or two or three colored ones, each type of salvage indicates a particular brand. Such jeans aren't sewn into too large badges and it's obvious. They are more time-consuming in production and therefore more expensive. Also, they are bought by natural clothes devotees or people in the trend. The experts appreciate such rough and simple-looking blue pants much more than all that fancy stuff with word silhouettes, huge patches, prints, sewn-on decor and other stuff. 
These jeans are timeless and out of fashion, they are respected classic. However, you've already decided to buy yourself salvage denim to highlight your independent fashion style and taste, keep in mind that natural cotton requires special care. We are used to clothes that are more than half synthetic. They are easier to wash and dry, and they shed less, and good quality synthetics also hold their shape without any problems. You have to wear salvage denim taking into account every peculiarity of the natural cotton but every feature that makes it difficult to care for gives it a special value. First, you shouldn't wash them too often. Do it more gently, since cotton loses its color brightness faster and simply wears out. The old days fashionistas quickly recognized the problem of natural jeans half a century ago, with washed them by hand, some even with laundry soap. It was right, by the way, because cotton fades faster when treated with the synthetic detergents, especially if the cotton is dyed with natural dye. The indole dye is less resistant than the latest achievements of the chemical industry, but no one would accuse it of toxicity and allergenicity. The real denim also dries long enough. It's because the natural cotton is water absorbing. However, it's much healthier to wear it in general and for the skin in particular. All the breathing synthetic materials invented by Monkey cannot be compared in this aspect with pure cotton. Denim jeans are quite heavy in comparison with thin viscose or synthetic ones, but more durable and yet comfortable in hot and cold weather. They weren't so highly appreciated by simple workers not for nothing. And they look far from glamorous, rather brutal and simple. However, you have to admit that it's an advantage for a man's image. So consider all these features and try not to wear the salvage denim jeans when repairing your favorite bike or rolling around in the grass. After all, the days when you could buy natural cotton jeans for a dollar and 46 cents are long gone. Comment below if you have any salvage denim items. And what do you think it's worth the hassle of recreating all natural clothing in this way? Like this video and pick the next on left or right.